Rapidly kill it. Get, 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 get on you. Get on you. Right now. Right now. Right now. Don't make me come out and get you. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. We'll make sure you know I'm going to come towards your mother. Oh. You all come right now. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, okay, okay. Black Texas News, you're on right now. Right now, right now. All you had to do was just come towards me so we can watch Black Texas News right now, aka Jody James. Love you. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to My Point of View Movie Reviews. Now, before we get into this review, a shout out to my homie, Cool to the Fullest. He's the one that did the intro to my show. Brother got mad talent. He can play up to eight characters at any given time on one particular show. Grandma Killer is in the house. Go check him out. Subscribe to his channel. Cool to the fullest. Now let's get on with this movie review. Today's review is Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Now I'll be honest, I don't read comic books. I'm an old school cartoon person and I love movies. So back in the day, growing up, Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. That was my Spider-Man cartoon. Then later on, I really got into Spider-Man and his amazing friends. That was my jam. As far as movies go, I'm a Tobey Maguire fan. I love Spider-Man 1, really love Spider-Man 2. Now, I don't know Venom's backstory, so the Venom part didn't bother me that much as everybody else in Spider-Man 3. Were there some cheesy moments of him dancing, wearing black, hair slicked back? Of course, but the action in that movie was on point. Fighting Sandman and then the Hobgoblin. That part was on point, but it had some cheesy moments. But Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man, I didn't like at all. At all. Uh, the new one, Tom Holland. He's cool, but I'm not feeling him like everybody else. To me, it's like Marvel just... You know, using Spider-Man to make their movies more exciting. And again, I don't know all the backstories of all these movies, so I'm not as versed as you guys are. I just like movies and I like Spider-Man. As far as this new animated movie, I don't know what the hell was going on. It's new to me, but it was cool. Different Spider-Mans in different universes, different um, space places and coming to Earth. That was all new to me. Gwen Stacy is a spider person that was that was a trip the one thing i would give this movie credit for is good to see yourself represented in a movie to see miles morales african-american slash puerto rican playing spider-man it was really really cool and really really different and taking it to the hood i really appreciated that and his family dynamic with his family members was extraordinarily touching and for an animated movie that's action packed named Spider-Man, it took his time getting to the action. Lots of character development and same original story. Dude gets bit by a radioactive spider, generated spider, and he turns, you know, into a little spider kid learning how to use his powers. Except now he's wearing, you know, Nikes and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of cool. I really enjoyed it. Spider-Man got one of the best origin stories ever. I never get tired of Spider-Man because we can all be Spider-Man. Think about it. 
get bit by a spider and get these powers. That's why it was cool to see all these different portrayals of Spider-Man in this one movie. And Peter Parker, I've never seen this Peter Parker before. Dude was jacked up. Dude is a mess. And it was cool to see him interacting with Peter Parker, Miles Morales, and all these other characters coming together. And it was really different. And for a guy who don't follow comic books, it pulled me in. Now, the animation was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. 3D, it is state of the art. It's in your face and it's rough and it's tough and it's all that stuff. This movie delivers. Now, since you spend your monies, absolutely. Support this animated film. You know, Disney got all the money. Let's spread some of that cheese over here to Sony and give them some of that money, some of that cheese. This movie will deliver. It's fun for kids and for adults, man. I really had a good time. And it's very funny, along with being action-packed. It's great for the holidays. Spider-Man into this universe, uh, Spider-Verse, whatever you call it, it's a great flick. But yo, it's just my point of view.